Hello there. Uh, thank you for watching. I just want to talk about something uh, we're going to do tomorrow, and it's going to be a, a conference call like we normally do. And I want to talk about uh, making things right with God. So let me ask you a question. Have you ever done anything really bad? And I mean really bad. I, I don't care what it is. And uh, I've done some bad things, things that I probably deserve to be locked up for and uh, publicly humiliated. And, uh, you know, b between God and I, it was bad enough, you know, that he probably wouldn't want me in heaven. So I just want to ask you, you know, have you done anything really bad? Tomorrow, um, I want to talk to you about um, a man who did some really bad things. As a matter of fact, he, he slept with someone else's wife after seeing her naked. He... He, he found out who she was and slept with her. And then after that, he tried to get, um, he found out that she was pregnant. So she told him, hey, I'm pregnant. And then, um, so, you know, what do you do? So he, he decided to um, get the guy's, uh, get the wife's husband to come home because he was out um, doing something for a period of time. So he tried to get her, him to come home to sleep with his wife. So that, you know, it, it wouldn't be found out that, that she got pregnant while he was away. So he was trying to cover up his tracks, right? So what happened is the guy comes home and he doesn't sleep with his wife. So then what does he do? So what the man does is he had the guy killed. Can you believe it? After sleeping with the guy's wife and he, he, couldn't, he couldn't cover up his, his plans, he, he had the guy killed. And so uh, you can imagine, I mean, that's, that's doing some pretty bad things. So what I want to talk about is what led up to these bad things and then what he did to make things right with God because he was eventually confronted by it and uh, it, it got pretty ugly and um, bad things happen as a result of what happened. Don't get me wrong because we all have to live with consequences of, of bad decisions. But nevertheless, what I want to talk about is hope because I'm here to tell you that it doesn't matter what bad things you've done. It doesn't matter what horrible thoughts you've had about for other people, because even those thoughts make you guilty. If you think about, you know, bad things happen to other people. Um, I'm here to say it doesn't matter what you've done. And what I want to talk about tomorrow is all about making things right with God, regardless of what you've done in the past. And I'm telling you, the difference is night and day in your life, because instead of living with guilt and living with tension and unforgiveness in your heart, which really uh, make your health degrade. It's really bad for your body to live with those things. They, they've proven that scientifically. And I want to talk about getting rid of all that guilt, getting rid of all that anxiety, and making yourself clean with God so that you'll have true peace. And it will, you know, when you make things right with God, he, He's promised to, that you can live eternally with Him. So tomorrow morning on our uh, Saturday morning call, we're going to talk about making things right with God. And if you want to read a little head about, head about it, we're going to be discussing Psalm 51. And it's about what that man did in his efforts to make, make things right with God. So that's just a little, in a nutshell, what we're going to talk about tomorrow so that we can, um, you know, make, eat, make us right with God and come, to, come clean before him. And so uh, I hope you can join us. It's at 10 a.m. I'm going to post the details in this message. If you have any questions, of course, you can uh, comment. But you guys have a, uh, a wonderful afternoon uh, on a Friday, and I uh, hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.